know, because I tell you, came back guys, you know, got that together, you know what I mean? And so glad you could be here, but uh, get, get something together. What's with the sound? You know this guy's accent. We're from Canada here. Yeah, really. What is that, mate? That's an oversized Sheila? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! It's an oversized Barbie! <laughs> what is <laughs> that? Oh, there you go! What did you call me? Trent, please, uh, what did he call me? <laughs> yeah, Barbie! Show some respect! My name is not Barbie! <laughs> Show some respect! You don't know who you're talking to! <laughs> well, I don't care if my name is not Barbie, I don't care who you are! We are the best in Canada, right. and we don't talk to people with accents. Hey, I tell you what, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Next week on SPW, we're putting out a challenge to you. What about it, guys? What about it, man? We're in. We're in. You in? Well, we're real Canadians, and we don't back down from a challenge. We're in. We're here. You're on. Next week. We'll see you there. I hate people with accents, boss. Here we go. Here we go. That's right, wrestling fans. We're only two minutes into the debut episode of SPW TV, and we've already gotten wild six man tag team action scheduled for next week's episode, featuring former WWE star Bushwhacker Luke, Chip the Flame Fletcher, and Primo Latino Gibby Guerrero squaring off against Canadian independent wrestling legend, Beautiful Bobby J, Mr. TLC Tommy Lee Curtis, and Newfoundland's own. Vince Austin. And get ready, after the break, we're gonna get to see Iron Ike Idol in action. See you after the break. Red River Messenger, with you all the way. With 30 vehicles and over 25 years in the business, Red River Messenger is equipped to serve all your courier needs. From half tons to cube van, to flat decks to temperature sensitive, Red River Messenger has you covered. Call toll free at 1-866-785-1051 or visit redrivermessenger.com. Welcome, wrestling fans, to the debut episode of SPW TV. I'm Ramblin' Robbie Robertson, and we're witnessing Iron Ike Idol face off against SPW newcomer Paul Bruski. Bruski was trained by AWA legend Greg Gagne, and showing right away that he knows his stuff with some technical amateur wrestling. Bruski right away into a top wrist lock. Iron Ike Idol showing that he's no rookie with his 13 years experience going to the ropes. Referee Matt Burns initiating the break. Ike seems to be favoring his left arm. Watch for Bruski to be all over that arm later in the match. And right away, just like I said, Bruski into a hammerlock. Idol showing with a with an elbow and then a right hook and another right hook. Iron Ike Idol's dad was a former pro boxer. I'm sure he taught him a thing or two back in the day. And Ike right away with a hard chop and now he's choking him, choking him in the ropes. Matt Burns with the count, Ike breaking it before the five count. Matt Burns telling him, watch the choke. Ike's got him. Ike seems to ha have the advantage in the power, in the power side of things here, giving him a body slam. And welcome to SPW, Paul Bruski. Iron Ike choking him in those ropes again. Paul Bruski probably wondering, why did I come all the way to Canada to wrestle for SPW to be choked? Stiff kick to the chest and another right hook. Ike Idol is all over this young Bruski. And a vicious chop. 
a vicious chop. I wonder if Greg Gagne had chopped Brewski like that in training. Like with a big whip and a big clothesline knocking off the head of young Brewski. Mike Idol taking the time to yell shut up to the people. He should have got a pin on him right there. Brewski near fall kicked out at two. But if Ike would have got the pin right away, I wonder if he would have had him. Ike raking the eyes. Matt Burns with the count. Ike's got him in the corner. Ike's taking the time to, to look at Matt Burns and he misses the chop at Brewski with some fire. Showing him some great Gagne fire in the corner, some big chops. I bet she's gonna hit the big splash in the corner. Oh no, Ike Idol moves, showing this rookie what a true veteran he is. And he gets the pin on him, one, two. And what's this, Brewski with a quick reversal for a one count and then a small package. For a one, two, oh, I thought he had him there. Well, Bruski with a crucifix driver into the into the mat. One, two, Ike Idol with a kick out here. Bruski showing a lot of a lot of determination here. And a double noggin knocker clothesline. Both men are down. With Bruski's superior conditioning, I wouldn't be surprised to see him get up first, but he has taken quite a beating in this match. So it should be close. Matt Burns with the count. Looks like Ike Idol is making his way up and Brewski, they seem to be getting up at about the same pace here. Watch for Idol to do something dirty. He goes for the clothesline. A big Jim Brunzel AWA style drop kick from Brewski and a lot of fire. He's got fire like rock and roll Baksumov and a big back body drop. He's got to have Ike Idol on the ropes right now. Look at that fire from this young rookie. He's got Idol into the corner. Big whip. Oh, Ike showing his smarts with a reversal. And it looks like a springboard cross body. This could be it. One, two, and a near fall. Ike barely kicking out at the three count here. Bruce, oh, was that a punch to the throat and a vicious DDT a la Ike Idol for the one, two, three. Iron Ike Idol out of nowhere. Hits a vicious punch to the throat and a DDT for the one, two, three. And now, we're gonna go to the replay zone. This is Iron Ike with a vicious chop on young Brewski here. Iron Ike, welcome to SPW, Paul Brewski with a choke in the ropes. We see Brewski showing some fire, but Ike getting out of the way. Ike with a vicious punch to the throat and the DDT for the one, two, three. Wrestling fans, that was the first match ever for SPW TV. Wrestling fans, get ready as Steel Town Pro Wrestling makes its return to Winnipeg, Manitoba on Saturday, October 16th. And they'll present to you Halloween Palooza 2010. Check out SteelTownProWrestling.ca for all the latest details. See you at the show. This is Chichi Cruz and you're watching SPW TV. Next, we've got SPW Young Gun Jay Lanza in action. See you after the break.
Welcome back, wrestling fans. What you're seeing is young rookie sensation Jane Lanza against the Lance Storm student, Mr. TLC, Tommy Lee Curtis. And right away, Tommy Lee Curtis showing some cagey tricks, like ducking the walk up and looking at the crowd, saying he's better. Look at Lanza showing him. He's learned a little bit in his year at SPW. Doing the same right back to TLC. TLC looks to be a little bit uh, bent at that and upset with the crowd even. And Lanza. Both of these guys looking at each other. Look to be evenly matched. Oh, that drop kick to the knee. Mr. TLC a little bit smaller, a little bit cagey. Showing some vicious beating Lanza's head into the mat and choking him. Young ref. Brady Blitz is right on the action here, but he might have his hands full as Mr. TLC is showing some dirty tricks and taking it to Lanza with some vicious chops. Vicious chops. Lanza's wondering what he's signed up for as TLC is chopping the crap out of Jay Lanza. And a vicious suplex. Lanza in trouble early, but TLC spending the time to flex his muscles. That could be the turning point of any match when the bad guy takes advantage. TLC talking to young ref Brady Woods, taking advantage of him. He's choking Jay Lanza, choking him. Oh, Brady Woods sees it. TLC saying he didn't mean to choke, but I bet otherwise. TLC's got Lanza in the ropes, the big whip, and Lanza ducking the clothesline, but TLC right back at him with a kick to the gut and a vicious forearm. TLC showing he's no green kid. TLC with a whip and a clothesline on Jay Lanza. I don't think Jay Lanza has had any offense all match. TLC degrading Lanza, standing on him, choking him, kicking him, just, just degrading him. Brady Blitz with the count. KG TLC, let's go before the five count. Not much referee Brady Blitz can do. Here's a pin, this could be it. One, two, and Lanza barely kicking out. Lanza still has gotten zero offense in this match. TLC with a big time body slam on Lanza. Flexing the muscles though. Again, I've seen many matches. And that has always been the downfall. TLC is up on the rope. Look at him talking to the people. Seems to be taking a bit long. But Lanza's had zero offense on it. And he goes for a set on it. And Lanza moves. It's almost like Lanza's been playing possum because he seems to be up with a lot of energy. And a big time clothesline by Jay Lanza. And a big time back elbow. Jay Lanza is all over Mr. TLC. And some punches. Vicious punches to the head. TLC is rocking and reeling. Lanza's got him in the corner. Lanza's going for the pen. Lanza splash. And whoop, there it is. He hits the Lanza splash. TLC is in nothing but trouble. Lanza calling for it. Calling for his scissor kick. Boom, scissor kick. This could be it. I see Lanza pin many guys. What's this? Lanza maybe showing a rookie mistake. Picking up TLC. Going for the Lanza bomb. TLC showing him. Lanza showed him a few things. And giving him some elbows. Lanza reeling. TLC reeling. This could be anybody's match. TLC for the big clothesline. Lanza's got him. Lanza bomb. That could be at one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Jay Lanza with the pin. And now we're in the replay zone with the pen. Lanza splash. The Lanza scissor kick. And now the Lanza bomb. And that's for the one, two, three. This is Matt Fairley. You can see me in the town near you. Check out steeltownforwrestling.ca and find out where we're coming. Whether it's horror or thriller, action or comedy, the Gary Theater is your destination for all the latest movies. Visit them today at 225 Manitoba Avenue, Selkirk, Manitoba. I'm sick of them. Wanna know why they call me that? Come to show them. You'll see. Cause you see, it doesn't matter to me who they throw in front of me. I'm gonna push them over. I'm gonna push them over and I'm gonna push them down. I'm gonna beat them up. I'm gonna beat them up just like you got beat up in the schoolyard. Remember that? Huh? I bet you that was a fun time in your life, wasn't it? <laughs> well, you know who beat you up? It was me. That's right. Me and guys like me. And they're all my friends. We all live in dark places. We like to hurt people. 
I bring the pain to whoever needs it. And I'm telling you right now, I think you need it. And I think everybody in SPW that's Steel Town Pro Wrestling needs it. I am the most angry, the most vicious. I have no conscience. I don't care about you or whether you have children or what your deal is, man, because you are out there. You're out there with me, and you're out there on your own accord. And when you stick under the ring with the big man, you never know what's going to happen. I could bring a fork. I could bring a stapler. I could bring my chain. And I don't care about wins or losses or DQs or AMWs, or anything. The only thing I care about is bringing the pain. I have lots to share, so come and get yours. <laughs> Up next, really crazy Rob stardom is in action. I am a professional wrestling legend. My name is Raven. And what I do is painful, it hurts, and I'm a trained professional. Do not do what I do. Do not try this at home, or you'll end up in a coma. Quote the Raven, nevermore. Welcome back from the break. We've got really crazy Rob Stardom facing off against young hotshot rookie straight from Newfoundland, Andrew Hawk. Andrew Hawk's been traveling all over Canada lately and recently he's been wrestling in Alberta and Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Right now he's got Stardom showing him what he can do. With a hammerlock, Stardom seems to be in a bit of pain but Stardom backs him into the corner, gives him a quick elbow and a vicious chop. Another vicious chop. Young Andrew Hawk is feeling and another vicious chop. And look at Hawk right away with a reversal, showing the grizzled veteran stardom that he's got some fire in his tank as well. Chopping him again, taking him to the corner, hits him into the buckle. He's asking the people, do they want to see a chop? Of course they do. Chop him and he lights up stardom. Stardom's chest is going to be red in the morning, I bet. Hawk's got him, and another chop. This is a chop that these guys are chop, chop, chopping each other down. Wait, 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 start him with a short arm reversal. Looks like into a neck breaker. A neck breaker onto the knee. Oh, that had to hurt. Hawk, you can see him holding his neck and head. Start him off the ropes with the pen up yours elbow with a two count. I knew he wasn't going to get him there. He did hook the leg. I think it was more just to aggravate young Hawk. Start him with a vicious forearm. He's got Hawk on the ropes. The whip, another shoulder by Hawk with a reverse elbow. Oh my god, and an Insiguri kick. I felt that one from all the way here. Hawk looks like he's ready to do something high impact again. Quick reversal, Hawk off the ropes. A flying Insiguri. Stardom looks to be dazed. Hawk's got him up, Big Stardom up, a scoop. And it looks like to be a slam. I would expect Hawk to maybe hop up the top rope. Look at that right away. Hawk's quite the high flyer with a shooting star press in his arsenal. Pulling stardom, getting him into position. Looks like maybe we'll see a moonsault here. Hawk up to the top. Twisting sent on moonsault. Oh my god. He's got the hook. This could be a two. A near fall. Stardom barely kicking out there. Stardom looks to be dazed. Hawk looks to be in a bit better cardiovascular condition and he's got him for a backslide. This could be it. Stardom's lost the backslide before a kick out. Hawk right again. Small package. Oh, he almost had Stardom there. Hawk right away going off the ropes. What's he doing? A big sunset flip. Stardom looks to be really... Oh, Stardom with a reversal. Hawk takes it into a sunset again. There's a kick out and a sip. A drop kick there. Stardom... This doesn't look good for Stardom, ladies and gentlemen. Hawk with a, a wild four on there. He's got Stardom. Whips him into the buckle. Asking the people, do you want to see it? Oh, Stardom puts up the boot. He's on the second. Takes off his elbow pad. Gives him the pad. And Stardom clothesline. Two, three. Take that to the bank. Stardom with the win. And now we're going to go to the replay zone. Right away, Hawk taken with a twisting senton. Stardom with the up yours elbow. 
Hawk through the corner, start him with the boot. Start him up to the second, takes his elbow pad off with the pat and start him clothesline for the one, two, three. Up next, we've got the world's smallest wrestling wild luchador, La Sombra, facing off against SPW heavyweight champion and resident bad boy, Marius. Hello again everybody, Sean Coates, SPW TV, encouraging you to visit SteeltownProWrestling.ca to learn more about your favorite SPW stars and when SPW will be visiting your hometown. Sun Life Financial, your guide to investments, insurance, and financial matters. Let our trusted representative, Kevin Harold, guide you down a financial path that is right for you and your family. For more information, contact Kevin Harold at 1 204 947 1547 or email Kevin Harold at kevin.herald at sunlife.com. La Sombra, the masked little thorn in my side. I've faced you before, and surely I'll face you again, but the result will always be the same. I will win, and you will lose. Welcome back from the break. We've got SPW Heavyweight Champion Marius facing off against the extreme luchador, the world's smallest wrestler, La Sombra. Right away, La Sombra, the the big time crowd favorite getting the people into it trying to psych out Marius but Marius has been around this business a long time I don't think that the crowd cheering will psych him out La Sombra right away showing his technical wizardry with a headlock reverse into a hammerlock Marius in, in a tight situation here with this hammerlock La Sombra's got him these people are behind him look at how La Sombra's putting all of his weight into this hammerlock he's got his foot on the arm he's really working over that that hammerlock if you've ever been a hammerlock, you know there's a lot of pressure on a guy's shoulder. Marius is getting up from this hammerlock though. And right away a quick reversal. Marius showing that he's no technical slouch either. Lasombra with another reversal. Hammering on that shoulder. Lasombra seems to... Lasombra bashing Marius' shoulder. He might have hit the ring post there. Lasombra right away to that arm. All over that shoulder. Asking the people, do you want to see it? Oh, he's going shoulder to shoulder with him. If you remember what shoulder to shoulder with someone, you know there's bones in there. And a big time shoulder tackle. Mary seems to be in a little bit of pain there, holding his shoulder. Osama right back to wrenching that arm. He puts all the pressure on the shoulder. Osama wrenching that arm. Wrenching that arm. The people chatting for 619. Osama puts him into an arm bar. Marius gets to the ropes, looks a, a little bit of worry on the face of Marius. You can see him holding his arm, but he must be in a world of pain. Villa Sombra, the quick jab, he's got Marius, and what I've seen him do this before. Kick to the other shoulder, he's gonna climb those ropes. Mar or right away, La Sombra's climbing those ropes, and a big time drop kick to the shoulder. You can actually see red welts on Marius' shoulder. I'm surprised Lasama's going for pinfalls though. If I was him, he's been working that shoulder. He should probably be going for a submission. Right away. Oh, Marius with a hot shot a la Eddie Gilbert smashing Lasama's head into the buckle. And now Marius does is a good technical wrestler, but I've got a feeling we're gonna see a lot of kicking, a lot of punching, maybe some scratching, and what looks to be a neck breaker. You can see the pain, La Sombra's holding his neck. This could be it, and a near fall. La Sombra with a kick out. La Sombra now seems to be trying to get the people behind him to get some energy. And Marius is having no part of it. Marius hooks him up, looks like for a gut wrench suplex. 
and a big time gut wrench suplex from the SPW heavyweight champion Marius and a vicious elbow drop, this time hooking the leg and a near fall. La Sombra barely kicking out, but he might be trying to reserve his energy for later in the match. He is spending a lot of time trying to get the people behind him though. Marius with a big whip into the buckle. Marius gonna charge him it looks like. La Sombra out of nowhere gets his elbow up. And La Sombra gets a, the boot, notice the boot to the shoulder. And then a big shoulder tackle. La Sombra still working on that shoulder. Going for a pin. If I was La Sombra, I might have hooked him into a submission there to try to get the victory. You can see the red welt on Marius' shoulder there. And out of desperation, Marius hit, rake in the eyes. La Sombra in a world of pain. I don't know if you've ever had your eyes raked, ladies and gentlemen, but it is not pleasant. Marius hooking him up for what looks to be a perfect flex. I've seen Marius finish many opponents with this perfect flex, but not tonight. La Sombra with the kick out, a near fall. Matt Burns with a perfect count. That was so close, but so far away, ladies and gentlemen. Marius picking La Sombra up, taking his time now. Getting him into the ropes with a whip. La Sombra with a short arm. Look at that. It was a DDT, but he focused a lot of pressure on that shoulder and arm. Marius is holding his arm, if you notice, ladies and gentlemen, more than his head. Both men are working on getting up. La Sombra taking his time to get the people behind him. Some wrestlers need that crowd cheering. La Sombra, wait, wait. Boot to the shoulder, whipping off Marius. And a big time shoulder tackle. Keep in mind, every time La Sombra hits that shoulder, even with a simple whip, it's putting pressure on Marius' shoulder. La Sombra with some knees. If I was La Sombra, I'd be looking to take it with a submission right now, with another whip. Those whips even take their toll. A drop toll. These people were asking for this earlier. La Sombra's patent at 619. Here we go. We see it on WWE TV. And La Sombra's hitting it as well. La Sombra, again, oh, he's going for the pin. He's hooking the leg. Again, I think this is the wrong strategy. That arm is there. He should take a submission on him. And a big kick right in the shoulder there. If you look right in the arm, Mary's in a world of trouble. Marius is down, he's dazed, La Sombra's going to the top. I've seen La Sombra finish millions of people with this, okay, maybe not millions, at least hundreds with this diving headbutt. He headbutted him right on the shoulder though, which is effective, but I don't think he's gonna get the pin near fall. He almost got the pin. Again, La Sombra should probably look at grabbing the submission hold. I sound like a broken record. La Sombra whipping, whipping off Marius. And a big time back elbow. And if you notice he hit the left side. More from, more, uh, he missed the face. He got him in the shoulder. The Sombra going up again. And Marius' arm is right out there. Oh, I think Marius played a little bit of possum there. Holding his arm out as bait for La Sombra. Right away, a big knee to the gut. I've seen Marius hit this many times. It looks like the Peyote pile driver. I've never seen a single person kick out. Marius hooking the leg for the three count. And now we're in the replay zone. La Sombra putting all sorts of pressure on the shoulder all match. La Sombra's gonna hit the ropes with a big time. Oh, right away Marius has got La Sombra for a perfect flex. For a near fall. Both men are days La Sombra. Marius picks up La Sombra for the patent peyote pile driver for the three count. Ladies and gentlemen, next week we've got wild six-man tag team action with beautiful Bobby J, Mr. TLC, and Vince Austin facing off against Gibby Guerrero, Chip the Flame Fletcher, and Bushwhacker Luke. See you next week.